Hi, a lot of people ask me, now what is a good biography? So let's talk about that. When I started my career as a PR assistant with the orchestra, one of the very first tasks that I had to do was to rewrite biographies. Biographies for the program leaflet. And it was a hell of a job because most of those biographies, they were either too long, they had mistakes, the English was not correct, things were missing. Still today, there are many people that are not really so skilled in writing an appealing biography, writing it in such a way that it becomes a story and that it becomes your personal story. And I was wondering why, because it's really not so complicated. So I would like to give you a couple of tools today to understand how you can do this. The first step is to make your fact sheet. And it's very simple. You go back in time, you see when you started, when you started to study, and you start to list when you started your study, with whom, what kind of diploma you have, what kind of prizes you won, the experience you have on stage, other kind of experiences, maybe you did summer courses, etc. You just make a long list with all these dry facts. Very simple. Step two. In step two, you take this dry fact sheet and you start to make a story out of it. How are you going to do that? You can either place your phone or a little camera or whatever, and you pretend as if somebody's interviewing you and you start telling about what happened in your life. It becomes your life story, your career story, if you wish. If you find that difficult, you can, f you can find a friend or ask a friend to help you and do it together. And so after this, when you just interviewed and you spoke, you listen to the text and you start to write that text exactly as you spoke it. You read it over and you sort of rephrase it until you have a really nice story. Step three, out of this story, you start to create chapters. So for example, you could have a chapter about early life and you could have a chapter about prizes that you won. You could have a chapter about um, your experiences as a teacher. You could have a chapter about your experiences as a composer. Um, all kind of chapters. It's very nice in a biography to make chapters. Now once that you finished the third step, so you have your biography as a storytelling with headers and you make sure that everything is inside. So your education, your diplomas, the jobs experience you have, the CD media experience you have, other kind of experiences like composing, maybe you created a foundation, maybe you are artistic director of a festival, could be anything. Then after this, you make sure that you create one document where you list a short biography, maximum 300 words, distracted from your story, and a long biography, maximum 700 words, also distracted from this long story. So the fact sheet is the base. Then you interview yourself or you do it with your friend and you write out your story. You have your story, second step. And the third step is to restructure it, make sure you have nice headers and uh, that everything is inside. And the very last step is to remember that once you have created your biography into chapters, you are always free to move them. So don't get stuck to one document. If you want to apply, for example, to a teacher job, then you make sure that your teacher experiences are listed on top and not at the very end. So you have to sort of copy paste into the right position. And what I also recommend to you is to Take three or four phrases maximum as the very, very essential of your biography. And this you can use as your elevator pitch. Everything is not so complicated. There is a three-step base course that we created um, to help you further. And down here in the description, you can find all the information and the link. And this was the four-minute workout for musicians. I see you next time.